What's going on ladies and gentlemen, Highlander here and welcome back to Pokemon Volt Y2 Randomizer Nuzlocke episode 30. In the last episode guys, we took on Drayden, the 7th gym of the Unova region and I was hesitant to leave the gym because I was afraid some story things were going to happen. Ignore my noises that my computer are making. And uh, yeah, so in this episode guys, we'll see what's going to happen. Now if you're, remember guys, if you're excited about today's episode, please make sure that you show your support by dropping a like and a comment down below. Uh, if you don't like the episode though, feel free to drop a dislike. I will uh, only hate you a little bit. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> do whatever you guys want to do. But uh, let's go ahead and get started real quick with a team recap, as we always do, guys. I mean, what is this? Episode 30? Like, you guys should know this by now. So up first, we got Vermilion the Cresselia with the Twisted Spoon as her held item. And she has Psyshock, Mist, Aurora Beam, and Psycho Cut. Up next, we got Walter the x Bloud, who didn't really see much action last episode, with Hammer Arm, Crunch, Return, and Stomp. And up next, we got Ty the Hitmon Lee with Blaze Kick, Wide Guard, Fake Out, and Close Combat, holding the Expert Belt. Up, and then after Ty, we got Echo the Swoobat with Shadow Ball, Psychic, Calm Mind, and Air Slash. After that, we got Haley the Golem with Strength, Smackdown, Stealth Rock, and Earthquake. And last but not least, we got Arietti the Raichu with Thunderbolt, Volt Tackle, Surf, and Volt Switch. Now, guys, if it seems like I'm trying to hurry through this intro, it is because I am. Um, I gotta say really quick, be, there has been a lack of episodes on the channel. Um, I have gotten a new job recently, and recording has not really been able to happen because of just the circumstances of my job. Uh, this is kind of the first real day I've had to really record, uh, but unfortunately I only have uh, time to record one episode right now. Um, hopefully I can record something else later tonight, um, but that is not for certain. So anyway, enough with that. Let's head out of here and see what happens. I knew it. I freaking knew it. I'll show you the way. Follow me. <clears throat> I don't even remember the voice I gave him. All I know is the fact that, like, it was killing my throat. So, <laughs> we're, we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back and we're gonna heal. And remember what I said, guys, about the freaking crazy hair? Like, this is... Uh, it's a struggle. Alright, so we're gonna go heal up real quick because we do not want our mans to have low HP. Something crazy might happen. Alright. We are good and restored. I'm gonna put, um, let's see. Let's put, uh, let's put Walter up front since he didn't get much action last episode. And, you know, we want everyone to, you know, feel like they're the star. You are a shining star. All right, this way. <clears throat> oh, my throat is going to be so dead at the end of this. We're, in, we're here. Okay, come inside. Maybe I should, like, be really close to the microphone and, like, give, give him that kind of voice. <clears throat> Let me tell you a story. It's a long story, but listen closely. It was two years ago when the two dragon Pokemon were awakened. The white dragon Pokemon, Reshiram, sought what is true with the desire to usher a new world of goodness. And the black dragon Pokemon, Sekrom, pursued what is ideal with the desire to usher in a new world of hope. Reshiram and Zekrom are once a single Pokemon. You may wonder why it split in two. The single dragon Pokemon had helped the twin heroes bring a new region into being. But the twin heroes, the younger brother who sought ideals and the older brother who sought the truth, sundered the region in two as they fought to see which of them were right. In that desperate hour, a single dragon Pokemon split its body into a white Pokemon and a black Pokemon. Even though ideals and truth don't need to be in opposition. As the story goes, a third dragon Pokemon, Kyurem, also came into existence in that era. And there may be proof of this to be found in a treasure passed down in my family for generations. The DNA splicers. <clears throat> Professor Juniper's research determined that the materials in the splicers date back to the same era as the materials used in building the dragon spiral tower. DNA splicers are stored very safely. I guard them because I don't know what kind of power might lie within them. But here's what's been bothering me. Could there be more than one? Could there be one more dragon Pokemon? Even if Curum really exists, we don't know what kind of Pokemon it is. For starters, the two Pokemon the ancient the two Pokemon the ancient Pokemon split into are both overwhelmingly powerful. So if Curum exists, could it just be a husk, a shell? that was left over. Boom! Something exploded. <coughs> oh my goodness. Hmm? What was that sound? 
There's been a lot of exposition going on immediately as we started this episode. What was that? They're pirates! They're coming for us! I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, it is a freaking cool ship. Look at all these cool angles that the DS did. Like, comparing early DS games to this, like, it's insane. Here comes the cannon. It's gonna be like, pew! Oh, the city is no more. What kind of overpowered weapon is that? What are they doing anyway? Freezing things? What jerks? Why are you gonna go freeze the town? People are living in this town. Okay? And now, because a giant freaking crystal is in the way, they can't go to the grocery store and buy food. Huh? Yeah? You wanna be responsible for killing all those people? <laughs> this world of ice. Hexorus used Dragon Tail! That's not what it sounds like at all. But, you know, whatever. <laughs> Oh, by the way, I'm wearing this terrible shirt. I'll talk about that later. That's enough, Axorus. There's been so much story going on right now. Not only did the ice stay unbroken, there's not even a scratch on it. What's going on? I don't think that's going to work. I don't know who's talking right now. Oh, it's the old guy. I remember you from Men's Castle. It's bitter cold. I'm shivering. I'm suffering, but I'm alive. It's what the essence of life feels like. It's proof of my existence. But that's enough of philosophy. Here are the facts for your admiration. This ice was specially created by Team Plasma's technology. As long as we have our secret weapon, you'll never be able to melt or break this ice. Let me explain our purpose here. Drayden, hand over the DNA splicers. Opelucid City is a city where the past and the future are intertwined. Could there be more perfect place for the splicers to connect the separated Pokemon? Do you know someone who knows what you did? Two years ago, we'll just hand them over quietly. <sighs> That's what I thought you'd say. At this point, I'd like to threaten you with another volley of ice, but we can't use it for the moment. Sigh. I guess it won't be enjoyable in this cold, but I guess we'll just search for them. Well, that's kind of anticlimactic. <laughs> oh my goodness, switching the voices back and forth. These foul villains. Will, I want you to help me. We're going to drive Team Plasma out of Opelucid City. Let's do it. I mean, we got nothing better to do. Ooh, this music, though. And not only do we not have anything better to do, freaking, I'm sure Hugh is going to be like, Feel my rage! I lost an instant a chance. Can't believe Hexorus blasted me all the way over here. Fight me! Alright, so you don't fight me. How about you? Pokemon are pawns! So they're means to an end. That's what I was taught. Don't think about it too much. It's easier that way. Well, when you put it that way, you are correct. It is easier not to think about things and not take responsibility for things that you're doing, as they are doing at the moment. A Watchhog. That's actually perfect for Walter, because Walter knows Hammer Arm. It's not Stab, though, which is unfortunate. Hammer Arm! Are you kidding me? It missed Baton Pass immediately. That was a good prediction. Even though he would have died anyway had I not missed. Alright, so we're gonna head with Return. I I want I want return to do a lot of damage, but I don't think it. Mm, it, has a, it has a decent amount. It's more than half. Sludge wave. I went ahead with the stomp. Stomp is pretty good. I kept it because of the flinch chance, um, and that can come in clutch pretty easily. Watchog again. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna use the hammer on. Hammer on. Oh, never mind. We're gonna go with stomp. Get the flinch, please. Get the flinch. We don't get the flinch. He's gonna mean look. Kind of silly to do considering the circumstance. Silly watchhog! Boom. You're dead. Immediately. Now, unless you have another Pokemon with like, uh, what's that move? Retaliate? Glalie. We'll stay in. Hammer Arm should uh, make quick work of this Glalie. Guys, I wish freaking uh, Frostlass had a Mega. I love Frostlass so much. She's such a, she is such a cool Pokemon. I just I don't know why. 
I like I like Frostlass way more than I like Lily. Let's uh let's make that a question. Yeah. Um, what Pokemon would you like to see a Mega of? Yeah. Um, you know, anything, anything goes. You can even you can even be like you know I want Mega Venusaur to have a Mega. You know you know how cool that would be. I'd think you were a crazy person, but you know, it's <laughs> it's your opinion, so I can't say anything. Mega Mega, that'd be crazy. But I, I do want Frostlass to have a Mega. I hope. Because there's been a lot of talk in Sun and Moon. How can this be? It's not the kind of power that Pokemon have when they're not treated like objects. They make it so blatant, like, that they're what they're doing. It's so dumb. Um, but anyway, I've been hearing a lot of talk about, like, Sun and Moon not having Megas. Just because of that new bracelet. I don't know how true that is. But it seems very well to be possible. But I don't... I don't know. I feel like they've put too much effort into Megas to not do anything with them in 7th Gen. But who knows? We won't find out till this November. Unless they, had, of course, announce new Megas sometime between now and then. Which would be cool, honestly. Alright, I'm a Tang. Let's, uh, let's go over Crunch. Just... Steel does resist Dark. That's interesting. I wonder why. I wonder what the logic behind that is. Uh, we're gonna heal up because there's no need to be risky. There just isn't. Why be risky when you don't have to? That is, uh, that is my philosophy that I never follow. Well, are you kidding me? It's a crit. Of course it is. Oh, my Tang. Why you gotta do this? I'm trying to end you and save the city from ice. And you're making this difficult. Iron defense. I see what you're doing. You're trying to set up on me, even though you had less than half health. Not gonna work, though, I don't think. I think this hammer arm would kill you. Oh my goodness. My speed fell. Can you speed drop from hammer arm? That is something I was not aware of. And the Rocky Helmet does take him out, though, so we are good. The Clutch Rocky Helmet. Swayless. Um, We're gonna send in freaking Ty. This sounds like a perfect job for Ty. And this close combat. But of course, we do fake out first because fake out, save out. I don't, I don't know. What am I? What am I even trying to say? Hit it with the fake out and let let's end this battle immediately. Well, it won't kill, but the close combat certainly will. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. I found it interesting that Hitmonlee learns close combat. I mean, it's not strictly you know fist or like punches or anything like that. So I guess you could do it with your feet. So she just makes fun of me immediately, um, and it hurts my feelings. How oh, humiliating, being bothered by a bo being bothered by a bother. No, I was... do not understand. Um, do we fight you? Yep. Uh, so I think we actually have to go back to Drayden's house. You know, it's actually blocking us off from doing so. No, wait, we were at Drayden's house. Well, he said he kept the DNA splicers there. I don't know. I'm confused. Uh, we're gonna go for the return. I feel like a stomp probably would have been better because we could have gotten the flinch and then maybe killed in, in a second return. Not bad! Not bad, Walter, I dare say. You know, with another return, Walter. I feel like I have to be British when, I, <laughs> when I'm using Walter. Just because uh, I feel like Walter's such a British name. It might totally not be, but you know. Who knows? Let's go for Echo. Um, it is a oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? I'm so stupid. I should have sent in um, Ty. This Cactron's part dark. Um, yeah, no reason to risk this. Let's send in Ty. That was stupid of me. Ooh, let's send in a Psychic type against a Dark type because SMRT. So that Dark Pulse probably would have just killed me immediately. Um, but we actually resist Dark, and now we're gonna hit it with the Blaze Kick. Ah, I should have. Ooh, my Sucker Punch would have been way good there. Bop! All right, that should end the Cactus. The Cactus is dead. Oh yeah, as I was saying earlier, my terrible shirt that I'm wearing right now. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just pulled it out of my closet. I actually have um, funny story. I went on vacation to a very hot place 
and um, in this hot place, we were getting like swimsuits and stuff because I didn't have one. And so I found a pair of like literally this pattern. Like I found this shirt, right? And I was like, dang, I need this shirt so I can look like an absolute tourist, even though I'm not. But just for the lulz, you know. And so <laughs> I got the shirt, and as soon as I like picked up the shirt. Across the aisle was a pair of swim trunks that matched exactly, and I was like, I have to. I, I look absolutely terrible, but I absolutely had to. Oh, we haven't fought her yet. Uh, we don't really have time in this episode. Maybe we'll come back and fight her later. We can, like, fight someone we missed. He wasn't here before. Oh, for crying out loud. I didn't expect to have to fight hampered by code like this. Well, no matter. The fact is, I'm shivering. Means I'm truly alive. So we're actually fighting Zinslin. All right then. Come at me, bro. Don't tease me, bro. I think we fought him earlier. Obama snow. Obama snow. Not Obama snow. <laughs> Silly me. Um, it would be ideal if we could get snow on. Uh, I don't like that I am half health with Walter. I should have healed up before this battle. Um, the safe switch wouldn't be Vermilion, so I'm gonna do that. That I should have put Ty in. Because the blaze kick would have just absolutely destroyed a bomb stuff. Focus blast? See, I knew it! I knew it was a bad idea to stay in. Alright. So it's a life orb, a bomb snow. Okay, we're just. I don't even know what to expect from this game anymore. Like. <laughs> life orb, a bomb snow. Dreano is throwing all the freaking punches. I don't, I don't have time for the punches to be thrown. Because that life orb is just insane. So we should live another blizzard. Um, I don't think this will kill. Oh, it does! Look at that! It does! Very nice. Walter hit level 68. He's so close to learning Hyper Voice. He will just murder everything. A cryogenal. So now, now Ty will be fantastic. With a fake out in the close combat. I don't know, I feel like, out of all the games, Team Plasma is definitely the realest. Well, I don't know, I haven't played 6th gen enough. I think I've only ever completed X and Y once. Um, but I... Oh my goodness. Don't you scare me like that! I was busy explaining how real you guys are and you almost freaking killed Ty. I, I hope the hail doesn't kill. Hail, do not kill. I will... We'll have some words. Whew! Wall rain. So that sounds like a perfect job for a certain Raichu that I know. But, um... Yeah, I've only ever played X and Y, like... Once. And so I don't really remember a whole lot of what Team Flare does. Even though I don't... Like, Team Flare... Were pretty, like, fabulous in their outfits, but I don't think they were that great. As an evil team. Uh, it doesn't kill. That's annoying. Toxic. Um, but, I feel like Team Plasma is definitely the realist. They like, freaking freeze people's homes and fly a giant pirate ship in the sky. I mean, what other freaking team does that? So cool. We're gonna Bolt Switch, um, because that way, we can not have to take any more toxic damage. We can switch out immediately, unless that's the last couple of months. Is it? We have four. Um, probably not gonna be another ice type. Let's send in. Let's send in Walter. I feel like Walter's a safe switch in. Bop. Weavile! Okay, so I think it was a very good choice. Uh, we're gonna heal up all the way though, because I think it's gonna go for a fake out. And that way we can get some HP. Um, I don't know if it has a fighting type move, it might. Predicted the fake out really well right there. Thank you. Um, kind of hoping that it would have life orb, but then again, it's kind of good that it's not. We're gonna go for a hammer arm. It's gonna go hit me with an ice punch. Shouldn't do too much because we're kind of bulky. But this Weavile is also very strong. That should kill. It's four times effective. Yes. All right. What a putting in the finest of work. I'm probably offending every single British person that exists. Um, he said something. I, I wasn't reading it. You're a strong trainer. You definitely are adept at handling Pokemon. 
I believe I'll take my leave simply because I can't stand this cold. But imagine this. A Unibar region completely covered in ice. To achieve that splendor, we'll do whatever it takes to obtain the DNA splices. So he just books it out of there. You're even better than I... <coughs> oh, goodness. <coughs> my, my throat. You're even better than I hoped. Thanks to you, we drove them off. I'm grateful for your Pokemon also. After all that, at least I can do is heal them with this medicine. Thank you. Wait here a moment. I'll be right back. So he's going to hand me the DNA splicers now. Harum. I don't know why he said that. There's a new record for making it there and back. <laughs> okay, so he's been making this trip often for some reason. Look, Will, these are the DNA splicers. Bop. Look at that. It's for Kyurem, so we can have black Kyurem and white Kyurem. This is where they were after. Uh, we're really fortunate that Team Plasma didn't get their hands on them. I don't know what their goal is, but I'm sure they're planning something wicked. The Shadow Triad? As we suspected, a hiding place is in the gym. Well thought out. If Dream isn't here, we can't get in. If he is there, he's a strong scarf with a possibly face. It's also explained why the Pokemon Gym was remodeled. Whatever, the DNA splices are in our hands now. It is beyond my imagination to think that you'd use one of the seven sages to find out where the splices were. Now you know, then. We will accomplish our goals no matter the co what the cost. We don't have the ability to captivate the hearts of others like Lord and us. Instead, we will bend people to our will with brute force. Two years is a surprisingly long wait. I'm trying to speak really fast. I feel like that's what they would talk like. They take the DNA splicers. They just stolen from us. We just have to take it back. Yeah, so they just took the DNA splicers. Like, oh, it's mine. Uh, something about you know finders keepers. Um. All right, so I think I think that's all we have to do in Opelousa City as of now. Um. Let's go heal up real quick. Really quick. I wonder if we can get a new encounter in this episode. I kind of want to. Uh, but I think we need to head off to the right. If I am not mistaken. Yes. Heh <laughs> you really don't you really don't think you can take the DNA splicers back, do you? So I fight the, the freaking Shadow Triad. Okay. Alright then, so this episode will just be a lot of story stuff. Look at that, that is so freaking cool. Why is that not a trainer class on like online battles? Shh, ninja. It's freaking insane. So Bisharp, once again, oh, air balloon. Ha, you think air balloon's gonna help against my hammer arm? Okay, now I'm kind of scared. How much is that gonna do? Doesn't do more than half, which is great. This is four times effective. Should kill the Bisharp. The Bisharp is dead. Um, I've actually seen Bisharp used a lot competitively. I'm not sure what the purpose for the Bisharp would be though. An Absol. So we're, we're just gonna have to send in Ty. Ty's just gonna have to sweep this. Looks like they have a lot of Dark type Pokemon. They just want to tussle, you know. Let's see here. Let's go over to Cole's Comet. The Absol goes down, no problem. Um, I just have to be careful to not have something outspeed me. I'm just used to being really fast. And apparently, apparently, my Hitmonlee is not the fastest thing on the field. <laughs> like 50% of the time. And he's not very tanky. He can't take a lot of hits. Let's go over to strength. X scissor? You think you can just X scissor my Haley? What are you doing? What are you doing, kid? It's not a kid, he's a freaking ninja. The strongest ninja that ever did live. A focus sash? Are you kidding me? <sighs> Can't do this. This freaking. The Dreano is so good at like hiding all his um, hidden surprises. Crobat. Well, we know what that too. But like, this wasn't a very, very good one. But like, Life Orb, Obama Snow on Zinzalu. Like, you would not expect that. And suddenly he's doing like way more damage than you would ever expect. And you're afraid. And you cry a little bit. It's like, what do you do? This is why these freaking hacks are so hard. But they're so good, I love them. I should stop saying it. It is. Learn to speak without using that word, Will. That would be good. Oh, how unlucky. I didn't have to be one. I didn't have to be the one holding the DNA splicers. I was just buying time for the others to escape. Cheerio, bye bye, whatever. Ah! Oh no! Ah! No! No, no, it's not your fault, Will. You were impressive. It's me who let everyone down. The cross transceiver is ringing! <clears throat> Who's calling me? Is it Hugh? Yes, it is. Will! 
hell? A straight ship was flying towards Opelucid City, right? I saw it too. I'm en route. Jared, that's Team Plasma's ship, isn't it? Yes, no doubt about it. Anyway, I'll be arriving in just a moment. Okay, I'll leave things to you. Will, if you run into any trouble, call me. Yeah, thanks for being there for me, Hugh, when the freaking city was attacked. Ah, if only there were two of me, then I could protect the town and chase after them too. Down, down, down. Will, Drayden, I'm glad to see you're safe as well. Hello, Jaren, you've certainly grown. I hear you filled in for Nenora by becoming a gym leader in Aspersia City. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Thanks. We should save catching up for later. I have a good idea for Team Plasma's hiding. The place with the lowest temperature in the Unova region right now is the area close to Humalau City. Drayden, please protect Ubalucid City. Hugh and I will find Team Plasma. Very well. I'll do my part, and thanks. Well, the chase I'll leave to you, but don't do anything reckless. Will, I can use your help if you're willing. You're a skilled trainer who can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Team Plasma. That's my definition of useful. Wow. Drayden, we're off. So I, just, I have to be useful for him. Humalau City, huh? If there's anything to the north of Undella Town, we'll protect, po uh, protect Pokemon from Team Plasma. All people should think for themselves about the nature of the relationship between Pokemon and people. It's not something Team Plasma gets to decide for everyone. So, there was just a lot of story in this today's episode. Um, I'm sorry if you guys weren't too excited about that, but we're going to have to end it here. Uh, I will see you guys... Oh, hold on. I need to do my outro properly there. <laughs> Remember, guys, if you enjoyed today's episode, please make sure that you show your support by dropping a like and a comment down below. Uh, if you didn't enjoy it, then feel free to leave a dislike. Feel free to make fun of my crazy hair, my crazy shirt, uh, whatever you would like. Just, you know, keep it keep it polite in the comment, you know? We, we want to we wanna be a friendly place to be. Um, but yeah, other than that, if you guys uh, are enjoying my content, feel free to hit that subscribe button. You'll be notified every time I upload a video. I will be uploading a new LP starting either next week or the week after. It'll be the Zero Escape, uh, Zero Time Dilemma. So if you guys are excited about that game, uh, make sure you come check out my channel. I will be LPing that game for you guys. Um, but enough about that. I've been rambling on for long enough. I love you guys so very much. Thank you once again for watching my videos. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace.